you back to the community. This is Dr. Bentham and our back fit team coming to you again for the S component in your daily routine. Now we talked about M for mobility, S for strength and stretch, and P for posture. This is going to be part two of S. After any exercise that you're doing, whether it's out hiking or walking or running or any kind of home workout, or hopefully you're doing, please do our stretch exercises every day for your back. Please end your workout with these top five back fit approved stretches. Ready? Number one, I'm gonna demonstrate. This has helped so many thousands of our patients get out of pain. This is called our supine low back stretch. It's very simple. Some of you already know this. Some of you have just a reminder. You're going to take both your knees. You're going to pull them up to your chest, and you're going to rock back and forth, just like this, okay? This should feel like a bit of a massage in your back. Your SI joints are feeling like they're rocking and moving. should feel really good. If there's any pain, please stop. Any exercise, any stretch that causes pain is an indication your body's telling you to stop, okay? So that should be, and then finish by doing circles. 10 of these are gonna go clockwise now, just like this. And then 10 are gonna be counterclockwise, just like this. All right, once you're done that, you're gonna move into your hamstring stretch. Hamstrings, tight hamstrings have been known for years to cause bad backs. So a great way, a safe way to stretch your hamstrings, simply pull behind your knee with your hands, finger lace them like this, Pull up just like so. You want to stretch this hamstring. There's three versions to this. There's the straight up. Then you rotate internally your, your foot and pull across your body. That gets the lateral aspect of your hamstring. Oppositely, if we move and point your foot outward and bring your hamstrings, this is the inside of your hamstrings getting into your doctors, okay? You can hold that for 30, 60 seconds. You can do each one of those for 30 seconds. Middle, uh, internal, external for 30 seconds, and of course, switch both sides, okay? Now, the next one we're gonna do is for your piriformis, your glute muscles. So you're gonna line your back, knees, just in this position. You're gonna take your left ankle, you're gonna place it on top of your right knee. You're going to take your two hands, you're going to grab your right thigh, the back of your right thigh. You're going to bring that thigh up. This is going to give you a nice stretch into these lateral hip flexors, the glutes, glute medius, glute minimus, piriformis. These muscles get tight, especially how much sitting we're doing. You're going to seesaw this back and forth nice and gently, and you're going to feel this nice massage stretch into those hip muscles. Very important to do that bilateral. You could do that a minute, 60 seconds, both sides, okay? So that is for your glutes and piriformis. Next, one thing that's happening, how many people out there are sitting more than ever? And so when we sit, we have these tight hip flexors. These are the muscles that attach our leg, our top of our thigh into our hip. So we want to stretch those. How do we do that? We want to go on our side just like this. We want to take our hand, grab the back of your foot, and stretch that thigh out, that thigh muscle. Now, important, not just to stretch here, but to start to, to push your hip forward. And this really starts to get into your hip flexor right through here. Very important that you push that forward, and that's a great exercise, a safe way to start to exercise and stretch your hip flexors. Lastly, finish off with one of our favorites where we just really round out and stretch out a back called child's pose. Literally get your knees bent just above or shoulder width apart and stretch out front, drop your back all the way down towards the butt, down into the heels, stretch your hands forward just like this. And then for a bit of advanced stretch, you can start to stretch to the left and that'll stretch all the way on these right muscles and then stretching to the right as the opposite side. So there you have it. Those are BackFit's top five stretches. Remember to always stretch after you exercise, not before. All right, guys, take care, stay strong, and we'll talk to you real soon back into our clinic, okay? Take care, guys.